Hello Taurus and welcome to your November general reading. Taurus, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and also some oracle cards to reveal the messages that are here for us. Taurus, I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because together this is going to give you a much fuller, deeper reading. Taurus, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now as I release videos every single day for you. So these are the cards that we have. So Taurus, you are starting off this reading with a major arcana card of the moon. The moon is a card that really challenges us to address what we are afraid of. The moon is a card that is full of depth. So this card encourages you to dive deep into your emotions, to face anything that is standing in your way to getting where you want to go because of fear. The moon card is about intuition. So this card is encouraging you to be guided by your intuition rather than be deterred and be derailed by your emotions of fear around where it is that you want to go. I feel that you are currently at a crossroad, not knowing which way you want to go. Deep down in your heart, in your soul, you do know where you want to go, but fear is standing in your way. So the moon card is opening up this reading, really challenging you not to be afraid, to remove anxiety out of your life by standing still and facing your anxiety, standing still and facing what it is that you are afraid of. This card is about deep reflection. This card is facing the unknown. And once you face the unknown, yes, it is uncomfortable, but you won't be as afraid anymore. It's like when you were younger and you say to your mom, your parents, there's something under the bed and you're afraid. And they would come in and say, there's nothing under the bed. And you'd be like, no, I really saw something. And then they would encourage you to look under the bed together with them. And you see that there was nothing there. That is facing your fears. And by really sitting and getting comfortable with what you're afraid of, you realize that most of the times our fears appear bigger in our mind than they are in reality. So with this card, it's a card that really encourages you to follow your instincts despite what you're afraid of. It's a card that really gives you a sense of direction once you have been brave enough to sit with your fears or to face what scares you? So this card is all about our subconscious mind. It's all about what's hidden deep down in our subconscious mind because this is where the key is to releasing you from being imprisoned by your fears. And we're seeing that here we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a perfect follow-up card because it is coming in with a sword. So you are being brave, taking this sword and cutting through to the chase of the matter, piercing right down to the heart of the matter. What you're afraid of, you're saying to yourself, what's the worst that can happen? And in saying that, you are getting comfortable with saying, okay, so this is the worst that can happen. If the West happens, then what next? You are challenging yourself to really see the next step and the next step and the next step. And once you can accept that, okay, this is what could happen. This is what I'm afraid of. How can I free myself? So with the Ace of Swords, this is a card that the divine is giving you, like God is giving you the strength, the ability to cut through to fight those monsters because you have a divine sword, to face what you're afraid of because here we have the dove 
bringing in peace and clarity to your situation. And so really, the power is in your hands to either accept this ace of swords to take it and to fight the good fight to free yourself or to stay stuck in this situation, being afraid of what the future will hold. Perhaps it is this coronavirus and everything else, the economy crashing, all these different scare stories that we're hearing. Are they going to see you frozen in the middle of the road? Or are you going to be brave enough to jump out of the way of this freight train that's coming to derail our lives, to derail your life? By moving out of the way, you can say, okay, this is what's going to happen. What am I willing to do about it? How can I take this situation in my hands and act and fight the good fight so that I may live my life freely despite whatever it is that is going on in the world. I am being brave enough to know that I can create some peace in my mind. I can create peace around my heart, my soul, for me and my family and for the greater good for all involved, of course. Because there's a sense of this feeling that there is something that is unfinished in your life at the moment. Perhaps you are currently working on something that you loved and the threat of the economy crashing has you feeling afraid, has you feeling like, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to tend to. I don't know what the truth is. So there is some unfinished business that you really need to get back to, to finishing. Because whatever happens, you will feel disappointed that you never got a chance to finish this symphony of your life that you are creating. So if there was a goal that you're working on, if there was a business, a relationship, whatever it is, the message here is go and give it your best shot. Because either way, whatever is going to happen in the world is going to happen anyway. But don't give up because you never know what you're going to create. When you focus on your own world, you never know what the future holds. So don't be in this element of I give up because life has taken a turn of being completely unpredictable. Rather, go with the flow. Be in the here and now. Be in the moment. Because when you're worried too much about the future, you're feeling disempowered because you don't know what the future holds anymore. You don't know how the world is going to look like this time next year five years from now, 10 years from now. And this feeling of not knowing is disempowering you to act. And action is the thing that you must take. And then when you look back to the past, you feel gutted that you didn't really put your all in into this thing that you were creating, this unfinished symphony that was here. This could be a relationship. This could be anything that you feel that I feel disappointed that I didn't give my 100%. But with this card, it's saying that either way, remove your focus from the past, remove your focus from the future, and just be in the here and now, because really, the present is really what we ever have. And so, being in the present, in the here and now, just enjoy this moment. Create from this moment of, I don't know what's going to be in the future, but in the here and now, right this moment, I am safe. And so I'm going to be in that energy that in the future I'll also be safe. So I'm going to carry on in a positive mindset, in the hope that it will all work out for the best either way. Rather than feeling disempowered of what the future will hold, disempowered that you freeze into place and you're not doing anything constructive. Your power has been taken away. Your drive 
to accomplish your goals has diminished because you no longer know where we're going. But really, the cards are here to say the winners of the future will be the ones who carried on bravely in the face of the world crushing and falling around all of us. So be one of those brave ones. Carry on regardless. So the next card we have is a card that says to the sea. And what this card speaks about is releasing that need of control. Because the energy here is that you're a person who wants to be in control of their life. And you have really been fighting to keep your boat on track to where it is that you wanted to go. And as the world has been changing, you have felt the waves crashing against you and derailing you off your path. And now you are tired. Now you feel that you don't have that fight left in you. You don't have the power to really drive your passion, to really drive this boat where you want it to go. And sometimes it is just best to let go. It is just best to let go of control because sometimes the divine God, the higher powers will lead us somewhere else, somewhere else that we would never would have thought of. So with this card to the sea is the card that says, hey, relax. Don't fight too much. Do what you can. But don't spend all your energy fighting, wanting to go in one direction because you are just going to tire yourself out. Do the best you can. And then the rest is up to God. So the next card we have is the Medicine Guardian. And the Medicine Guardian is the card that's asking you to be open to healing information. So this information regarding health, healing, that is coming in. And rather than being closed off, rather than being, I won't accept this, I won't do this and that, with this card, again, it's just saying, be open to information coming in. Operate from your heart space. When you're fighting too much here in your head, this is where you're getting tired because there's so much information that is conflicting out there in the world and it feels like it's too much. It's creating a fog in your mind rather than giving you clarity. So just being open to information and not fighting it, just be neutral because you're not being forced to make to making any decisions right here right now so just be open and then if you have to make a decision in the future at least you have been open to hear both sides of the story rather than being closed off and being in that again in that energy of things have to go this way and if they don't go that way i am gonna fight the government i am gonna do this and i'm gonna do that none of us know what is coming in terms of medicines. So instead of you putting your time and energy, planning out the fight that you're going to have with the government, use that energy instead to finishing this unfinished symphony that is here. Use that energy instead to gain clarity in your life, to see where you want to go and then when this information about medicine or anything else comes up that you are forced to make a choice, then that's the time you can worry about it. But either way, right now, be in this element of being here and now, the element of being neutral, hearing both sides of the story and remaining neutral. So the last card we have is the Sun card. And this certainly is an interesting video because a lot of information is coming in from the divine and the divine is really wanting to emphasize that in this reading, if you take away just one thing, is just letting go. 
Don't worry too much. Don't stress yourself too much. There's nothing that you need to do right here, right now, other than facing what you're afraid of, finishing what you were working on before, and realizing that clarity is going to be here for you, clarity that's going to bring you peace. But right now, this is in the future. Right now, focus in the here and now. So the last card that we have, the sun card, is asking you to enjoy success and happiness. There is this sense that there is success and happiness in your life, but because you are in this element of being afraid, you are forgetting to take the time out to celebrating the little successes and happiness and joy that is in your life. There is just this big, heavy energy that is really derailing you from the joy, from the bliss and the happiness. But remembering that joy and bliss and happiness raises your vibration. And when you are in the energy of being worried, being stressed out, this lowers your vibration and makes you subs... subs I can't say that word now. And makes you more likely to get sick. Because when we're stressed out, we're more likely to get sick. But when we're vibrating higher, when we're enjoying life, when we're being happy and not worrying too much about the future, this can just raise your vibration and remove you from this energy of stress, anxiety and so much worry. So the divine God really wants you to know that for you, don't worry too much. Just be here and now in the present. The future will somehow take care of itself. It always works out all right in the end, doesn't it? This is what the divine is asking you. So why are you so worried? Go finish that unfinished symphony. Take your joy from this project. Bring your joy from finishing this project instead of being consumed by so many things that we don't really know what is really the truth, what is really going to happen. Just be in this present moment enjoying. And this is the video that I have for you, Taurus. I'm going to ask you to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. On that note, I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.